The key to it is maximum fiber recruitment. At each workout, you should use the minimum number of sets to hit the maximum number of muscle fibers in each target area. This preserves recovery ability and stimulates growth, setting the stage for a quantum leap in mass. Positions of flexion, or POF, gives you the power to accomplish this type of anabolic acceleration at each workout because it specifically defines the three positions, or angles, at which each muscle should be worked for super muscle fiber recruitment. This three position concept states that each muscle group needs three exercises for full complete development, one for each position of flexion, the mid-range, stretch, and contracted positions. Let's begin by analyzing the quadriceps so you can reap the mass building benefits of POF in your very next leg workout. Because mid-range movements tend to work the majority of the target body parts muscle fibers with the help of synergy, it's best to work the mid-range position first. Synergy is many muscles working together as a team, and it allows you to use maximum poundages. One of the reasons you can power up some impressive weights on this exercise, effectively overload the target muscle, and force the bulk of the muscle fibers to fire. After you fatigue the majority of the fibers with a mid-range movement, you then move to a stretch position exercise, like the sissy squat. With this movement, you place the quads into a complete stretch, which allows you to take advantage of the myotatic reflex, or pre-stretch phenomenon, an action that can help you recruit fibers out of reserve. In other words, you're able to pull dormant muscle fibers into the action for a more intense contraction. Getting these reserve fibers into the action is one of the keys to rapid muscle size increases. Research has shown that pre-stretch forces this reserve fiber recruitment phenomenon, which also remains in effect for the next exercise as well. Now that you've primed many of the reserve muscle fibers to contract, you move to an exercise that has resistance in the contracted position to give as many muscle fibers as possible one final growth stimulating blast. You work the contracted position movement last in order to place the target muscle in its ultimate peak contracted or flexed state with opposing resistance. For example, with leg extensions you engage your quads through the entire range of motion and at the end of each rep you get an intense cramping contraction that squeezes the last bit of effort from the working fibers, including many reserve fibers. By working your quads mid-range, stretch, and contracted positions, you can efficiently fatigue your front thighs during each workout with fewer sets, while still covering all the angles. From a physiological standpoint, this type of efficiency of effort in the gym is the key to maximum muscle growth in a much shorter time frame. The second movement in the POF calf routine is the donkey calf raise, a stretch position exercise. Keep in mind that by keeping your feet angled slightly in throughout the exercise, you enhance the pre-stretch at the bottom. To make this exercise as effective as possible, use a quick twitch at the bottom to activate reserve muscle fibers. There is no need to hold and flex at the top as this is not a contracted position movement. Due to the 90 degree angle of your waist and legs, you don't achieve an intense contraction at the top of this exercise, at least not like you do with the contracted position exercise which comes next. With any standing calf raise movement, you get a total calf contraction if you keep your torso upright on the same plane as your legs. Also, by doing this contracted position movement with a slight toes-out stance, you enhance the contraction at the top of each rep. To make this exercise as effective as possible, hold for a two-count at the top of the movement and really flex your calves. Try to maintain a slight toes-out stance throughout the exercise. You must also develop the soleus muscle if you want complete 
lower leg size and shape. The sole position is taken care of with the donkey calf raises. That leaves the contracted position and you use the seated calf raise to get the best soleus contraction. To make this exercise as effective as possible, hold for a two count at the top of each rep. 